Kendrick Lamar has just dropped his new song, The Hard Part 5. And man, listen, he is undeniably the greatest of this generation at this point. This guy has consistency. This guy has taken five years from making music personally, and now he comes back with this fucking song. Dude, how are you feeling guys, off the bat? Guys, listen, what the fuck else did you expect, guys? We're watching a master at work, and this shook me to my core. I was listening to it on repeat, the whole car drive over here, and every time that I listen to it on repeat... I get more out of it. I keep marveling at every single word that he laid down. And what this song is, is a reminder that he's the voice of a generation. Even the way that he starts off the song rapping, I realize life is perspective and my perspective may differ from yours. He's done that multiple times where he'll go and rap into the perspective of somebody else. And the way that he immortalizes Nipsey Hussle in that last verse will shake you to your fucking core. It will pull on your heartstrings and... I'm just blown away that he's done it again, bro. Oh, he's absolutely done it again. Not only that, but the Marvin Gaye sample, I Want You, one of my favorite songs of all time. And it was done so well, too. I was talking about it with Coleman, and he was telling me, like, they probably played over them, like that, because the, the sample was flipped perfectly. And you hear it throughout the whole song, and you could see how it actually plays into the concept. And then I find this so cool about how, you know, he stops midway through the song, starts breathing heavy, and he's like, get rid of the drums to get a bit more personal so you yes. can hear him a bit clearer. And. Even the music video, man. Like, visually, what he is doing right now is fucking game-changing. With all, like, the deep face, like, morphing, like, that whole AI technology shift, he was able to, you know, morph into seven different faces, all right? I have them right here. Um, Jesse Smollett, Nipsey Hussle, OJ Simpson, Kobe Bryant, Kanye West, and Will Smith. Six. Um, my bad. But... Even visually, dude, like this guy is not like not taking any prisoners, PG but like lying, it's perfect, bro. bro. PG lying and like speaking about him morphing those faces, and also the way the video starts, where he reveals that Oklahoma is all of us once again, playing into that idea that Kendrick Lamar is the only representation that we need. He's literally the leader of the culture, and. To me, he proves once again that he's the best living artist making music right now, without a fucking doubt. And the spoken word poetry, the flows are immaculate, the writing is raw, it's real, it's authentic. And like you said, the composition behind that sample flip from, you know, I Want You from Marvin Gaye, um, he literally, you know, flipped an all-time great song and he, you know, arguably made maybe one of his best ever songs in the process. And you know what's crazy? This is the joint that he's leaving off the album. This is the fucking appetizer. What does that mean for the rest of the album, bro? And, and dude, I, I was talking to my boy Mark Lux about it too. I gave him a quick FaceTime and we were like, dude, like... Th this is this is a different level of writing like if he's going into different perspectives and he's going to start explaining to you um his philosophies and his ideologies into different perspectives now that could be a very fucking interesting route to go by for absolutely his next bro and just his articulation will lift your fucking soul like for example when he's rapping from the perspective of nipsey he raps i seen the pain in your pupil when that trigger had squeezed then he raps i don't need to be in flesh just to hug y'all like Bro, that shit had me fucking in tears, man. Like, it's just, it's amazing the way that he's able um, to honor a late and great Nipsey Hussle and just pay homage in such a sophisticated level, swing his intellect because we've seen other artists, you know, pay homage to artists and just drop a line like mm -hmm. RIP to this artist. But the way that Kendrick does it to represent the culture and the impact that certain artists have had is beautiful bro and not only is it beautiful, beautiful but it's so well calculated musically not i can listen man. to this one i completed my mission wasn't ready to leave but fulfilled my days my creator was pleased bro oh my you get what goodness. i'm saying like it's a different level of writing here like it's he's playing on a completely different fucking playing field than everyone else right now you know people are talking about new albums this new album that doesn't fucking matter anymore. It and doesn't. that's what and, and people are gonna say, Oh, you guys have Kendrick by this or that. Listen to the fucking song, dude. It's perfect. <laughs> It's, it is. it's bro it's immaculate the way everything was structured was to a T and now this gives me more hope going into the album because Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers you have some fucking runtime on there you have close my bad I'm gonna close off my uh, my sound you have close to maybe what an hour 20, and a half 20 25 songs uh, bro you bro, have a lot of material if, if that material is on the level of the hard part 5 we got to start having that conversation about the, the, the top five of all time. Like, we got to really start having that conversation because this is next fucking level. And I'm stunned. 
I'm honestly stunned. I, I don't even know what to say anymore, to be honest with you. But like, what did you expect, to be honest? I know. Like, well, what the fuck did you expect? Everyone was like, ah, oh, you know, it's going to be overrated or this or that. Then I heard some rumblings on Twitter. Now everyone's fucking shut. No one's saying a single word because they know what happens when he gets back. They know what happens. There's no one that's going to be able to compete with him. Name me a lyricist that's able to do this right now. That's making music. Nobody. Exactly. Nobody. And, and no one is able to pull it off. I'm, that's what I'm trying to say is, is like, even Denzel Curry was just tweeting right now, like, this inspired me bro like literally like he said i have to step up my game now bro this, like, is, this, this is, is top tier lyricist is Kendrick talking Lamar. This. this is what he does he shifts the fucking culture and he's gonna he's gonna motivate so many rappers and artists to elevate their craft because that's what he does Do that's the kind of artist he is let me of ask course, you bro it's so fucking refreshing i'm sorry yes there's been good music this year but this is one of the best songs i've heard in years and i mean going back to the last previous perfect songs you think of Kendrick again. That's just the level that he's on. And guys, I mean, listen, we had high expectations going into the hard part five, but this surpassed those fucking expectations. Absolutely. Did you think it was going to happen? Let me ask you, like a quick little question. Do you think the, did you think he was going to drop the hard part five? I did think he was going to okay. do it. And right. I, I love the fact that we can go into this album fresh now and still have gotten a teaser, gotten kind of just an idea of where he's been at, where his head has been at over these last five years, and the, fr and the reflection is immaculate. But guys, listen, let us know how you feel about it in the comments. Of course, once the album does drop, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers on Friday, May 13th, we will be doing an album review. Um, not may maybe not on that exact day. We might need some more time to do it, but we're also going to be doing a live album reaction on Friday, May 13th at 12 a.m. Eastern Time. The link is now available in our description. We bumped the album with our entire community, and we're doing these on the weekly. Guys, thank you so much for watching this entire video. It's fucking Kendrick season. Get excited. We'll catch you in the next one.